In this video, I will explain velocity analysis of a slider crank mechanism using a relative velocity method. For explaining this method, I have taken one example where a crank of length 0.5 meter is revolving in clockwise direction with some RPM. This RPM is given 180 RPM in clockwise direction. Connecting rod length is given 2 meter and we have to determine velocity of piston, angular velocity of connecting rod, this connecting rod BP, its angular velocity, velocity of point E on the connecting rod. Now there is a point on connecting rod, its distance from P is given, PE is equal to 1.5 meter. Now velocities of rubbing at the pins of, that means velocity of rubbing at this pin, well at this pin and this pin, this we have to determine. Uh, Last one is position and linear velocity of any point G on the connecting rod which has the least velocity. Now we have to determine a point G on this PB such that uh, the velocity of that point, uh, absolute velocity of that point is, uh, is minimum. So for that first uh, we require angular velocity of this crank. This can be calculated using this data that is 180 RPM. RPM of B OB is given. From that you calculate omega angular velocity of OB uh, that is angular velocity of crank 2 pi n divided by 60. N is given 180 all other values you know. So from that you are getting 18.85 radian per second angular velocity of OB is 18.85 radian per second. So velocity of B with respect to O or absolute velocity of B can be calculated. V is equal to R omega. So VB is equal to omega into R that is radius of this crank. It is given 0 0.5 meter and omega you have calculated 18.85. From this you are getting vel velocity of B as 9.4 meter per second. And direction of this velocity will be perpendicular to OB, perpendicular to OB and in this direction, perpendicular to OB in this direction. Now first is uh, we will try to determine velocity of piston. For that you require to draw configuration diagram, the same diagram which I shown before. Since dimensions are in meters, you cannot be able to draw those lengths on your A4 size sheet. So for that I have taken scale uh, 1 is to 20. So we will reduce the size by uh, 1 by 20. So first you mark a point O. Uh, from this point uh, you have to draw crank. Uh, at an angle of 45 degree and its length is given 0 0.5 meter. So 0 0.5 meter divided by 20, whatever centimeter you are getting, you can uh, uh, take this length. So in this way, you will get point B. Now from point B, uh, take a length of this uh, connecting rod length is 2 meter. So take a length of 2 meter, that means convert that 2 meter into centimeter, that means 2 meter divided by 20. So you will get some centimeter value. Take center uh, center as B and radius as 2 meter and, uh, and cut this horizontal line. So mark that point as P. Join B to P. This is 2 meter length. And uh, around this draw your piston. In this type of problem, you should mark two points at the same place. One is P, which is uh, on slider and is moving. And another one is A. Another point you should mark A uh, which is on this guide way and is fixed. So A and P both are at same place but A is assumed on this guide way and P is assumed on this piston which is moving and A is fixed. Now we will draw velocity diagram for that we know that velocity of B, absolute velocity of B is given 9.4 meter per second. Again to draw this meter per second velocity you should take some scale. So I am assuming scale as 2 meter per second is equal to 1 centimeter. So first step is, first step is to mark all fixed points at one place. So here fixed points are O and A. So these two points are marked at one place. Now we know that velocity of B with respect to O, that is absolute velocity of B which is perpendicular to OB and along this direction. So we will mark that, uh, we will mark that length. This, uh, this length is uh, 9.4 meter per second. That means we have taken 2 meter per second is equal to 1 centimeter. So half of this, that means uh, 4.7 centimeter line, uh, length line. 
In this way, you obtain this point B. Now we know that velocity of point P with respect to B will be perpendicular to PB and also it passes through point B. So from B, draw a line which is perpendicular to PB. This line is perpendicular to PB and uh, passing through B. So in this line, you will get point P. At the same time, point P is moving with respect to A fixed point in horizontal direction. So from A, draw a line, horizontal line. Uh, in this line also, you should get point P. So point P should be in this line and in this line, both these two lines. Therefore, it should be at the intersection of these two lines. That means this point is point. So this place, this is your point P. So now join B to P. This length, this line will represent velocity of P with respect to B because arrowhead is towards P. If you draw arrowhead towards B, then it's velocity of B with respect to P. Now similarly join O with this point P. So this line will represent velocity of P with respect to A and that means absolute velocity of P. So this is this line is uh, one which we require here for getting velocity of piston. So mark so this VP is velocity of P with respect to A is AP is equal to vector AP. If you measure this length, you will get 4 centimeter and therefore this uh, velocity because 2 meter per second is equal to 1 centimeter convert that so from that you will get you will be getting 8 meter per second that means velocity of this piston with respect to a or absolute velocity of this piston is 8, 8 meter per second and its direction is towards this direction that means right side direction so this piston is moving in this direction towards right with velocity of 8 meter per second now to determine angular velocity of connecting rod, we require this length BP. This is velocity of P with respect to B. So this velocity of PB, velocity of P with respect to B is equal to vector BP. And when you measure this length, you will get 3.4 centimeter. So apply this scale, 2 meter per second is equal to 1 centimeter. So it, it is coming around 6.8 meter per second. Now direction of P with respect to B is towards downward direction. That means velocity of P with respect to B is towards this direction. And therefore this, this connecting rod is rotating in anti-clockwise direction like this. If you keep this fixed, then P is moving in this direction towards downward. So with respect to B, this is anti-clockwise. So it is revolving anti-clockwise. So, Angular velocity of PB is anti-clockwise and value of angular velocity can be obtained by relation V by R. So omega PB is equal to V PB divided by R. That is radius of rotation. That is this length PB. And it is equal to 6.8 meter per second. Velocity of this we have already obtained divided by 2. 2 meter is the length of PB. From that you are getting 3.4 radian per second and in anti-clockwise direction. Now to get velocity of point E on the connecting rod, now this point is on connecting rod, so uh, this point is on PB and therefore uh, this point will appear here in this PB. So this E, whatever ratio this capital E is dividing this capital PB, the same ratio the small E will divide this small PB. For that you can use this relation PE divided by PB, PE divided by PB is equal to whatever you have written here same thing in small letters you write here which from this you will get value of pe this value of pe is equal to capital p into pb this is capital pe 1.5 uh, one pe is 1.5 meter and pb is uh, 3.4 uh, centimeter here this this length this length PB is 3.4 centimeter which we have already obtained and capital PB is 2 meter. Now remember when you apply this relation uh, this E is unknown and therefore this E should appear only once in numerator or denominator either in numerator or denominator. This E should not be in both places. For example you cannot write capital PE divided by capital EB. Now uh, see that PE is 1.5, so EB is 0.5. These two values are known, so you may think that you can write 
capital P E divided by capital E B E B. This is this way you should not write E should appear only once. Otherwise, you will find difficulty in determining this small E. So in this way you obtain this P E is equal to 2.55 centimeter. So just from this point measure 2.55 centimeter and mark point E here. So this is your point E which is at a distance from the p its distance is 2.55 centimeter now uh, velocity of e to get velocity of e absolute velocity of e you join uh, this e from this uh, fixed point o or a from here join this so this line is representing absolute velocity of e so this velocity is vector oe vector oe and when you measure this you will get length of 4.2 centimeter so when you apply scale you will get 8.4 meter per second so velocity of e is 8.4 meter per second now i am calculating fifth one first so here position and linear velocity of any point g on the connecting rod now point there is a point on g in this connecting rod pb in this uh, that point g we have to locate uh, such that the velocity of g is minimum now g will appear here in this line only in this line and uh, in such a way that its distance from O should be minimum because we require minimum velocity and the velocity is the line joining uh, that point from O or A. Therefore, what we will do, we will draw a line which is perpendicular to this BE, BP. So, per we have drawn a line from O which is perpendicular to BP. So, this line, this line is perpendicular to BP. So wherever this line is intersecting BP, that point is your G. Because OG is the smallest distance of this line BP from O. So this is the minimum velocity what you are getting. So this point G is obtained. Now again, G, position of G uh, can be fixed here by same using relation. Now here I have using BP, BP divided by gp again you remember that g is not known position of g is not known here therefore g should appear only once so here it is appearing only once g so bp divided by gp is equal to whatever you have write, written in small letters same thing you should write in capital letters capital bp divided by gp from this you will get gp is equal to gp cross multiplication bp into gp bp into gp divided by bp so all these values BP, this BP total length is 2 meter, uh, GP, small GP, where is this small GP, this small GP, when you measure this length, you will get 0 0.9 centimeter. Now this BP, this length you have already, this BP you have already measured this length is 3.4 centimeter. When you put all these values, you will get 0 0.53 meter. So GP is 0 0.53 meter measure this length 0 0.53 here from p to g and mark that point g 0 0.53 meter uh, you should use this scale this is what we require to determine here next velocities of rubbing here uh, we have to determine velocities of rubbing at this point o b and p now diameters of pin here are given here pin diameter is 50 mm here pin diameter is 60 mm and here pin diameter is 30 mm. Now velocity of rubbing at first point uh, at crankshaft, we know that velocity of rubbing is angular velocity into uh, radius of pin. So here angular velocity of uh, crank is omega bo which is known 18.85 radian per second and uh, this another link is fixed therefore directly you can calculate omega into r 18.85 into this is your diameter 50 uh, 50 divided by 2 is radius and divided by 1000 to convert this into meters in this way you will be getting 0 0.47 meter per second for uh, rubbing velocity at point o now next is at crank pin at this point there are uh, uh, it is the connection of crank and connecting rod both are revolving so connect, crank is rotating in clockwise direction and this connecting rod is rotating in anti-clockwise direction since these two are in opposite direction therefore uh, you have to add these two angular velocities angular velocity of crank plus angular velocity of connecting rod now these two are known 18.85 uh, plus 
3.4 into R2 radius of pin at point B 60 mm so 60 divided by 2000 in this way you are getting 0 0.67 meter per second now last one is cross head pin so here this this pin uh, here you require uh, velocity of rubbing again uh, angular velocity of pb is known angular velocity of pb is 3.4 radian per second and angular velocity of this slider slider is uh, uh, moving along straight line therefore its angular velocity is zero so directly you can get omega pb into r3 uh, by calculating you are you will be getting 0 0.051 meter per second Thank you.